Assalamu alaikum. Dear learners, I hope you are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to use the open PLC editor to create a program using ladder logic diagram and describe that how you can test the created program without the need for connecting your editor with the online server of P open PLC and with any other physical hardware. So let's get started right away. The first thing is you need to create a new project. You can create a new project by clicking on this icon. It will ask you to select an empty folder. So I'm going to create an empty folder and name it as, for example, test project. As soon as I'll select the folder, it will ask me that in what language you are going to create the project. So over here, I'm going to select this LD that stands for ladder diagram and click OK. So that's it. Now I can start programming. In Open PLC Editor, the first thing you should be careful about is you should define all the input and output variables that can be used in your program. That will come in handy later on. So for example, we want to implement an AND gate and an OR gate in the same ladder diagram. So for that, I need two inputs and one output for the AND gate and one output for the OR gate. So for that thing, I need four input output variables. So to add these four input output variables, you should click on this plus button that says add variable. This is the first variable that has been added. You can name it. For example, I'm going to name it as input A and don't change this class over here. You can change the type of this variable by clicking on it and then selecting bool over here, which means that this variable is of boolean type. Now, if you have installed the runtime and you want to connect this editor with the online open PLC server, then you need to assign the location to this variable as well because you already know that for PLCs, each variable should be assigned to a particular IO port. Now to do that, you should click on it. So I'm planning to use a Siemens PLC with this open PLC editor and I therefore I should name the inputs like this. So this is the location that will correspond to this variable. However, if you haven't installed the runtime and you just need to check your program that whether it is, whether it is working or not and, or you want to practice your ladder diagram programming skills, you don't need to assign any location to it because there is no location to assign this variable to. So if you leave this uh, field empty, it will be quite fine as well. So now I want to add another variable. I'm going to click over here. That variable is automatically named as A0, but let me change it to input p the type would be boolean and the location has already incremented so i can delete this location because i know that this program is not going to connect to any physical hardware so i don't need that location so now for the third variable it will be an output so i'm going to name it as output and and i'm going to use this thing for the output of and gate and rest is fine now the fourth would be an output for an or gate so I have named it as OR. So now I have created all the input and outputs required for the program. Now to start ladder logic, the first thing is we need power rails. So you can click on this icon which says create a new power rail. Select this thing, click somewhere over here in this workspace and it will ask you whether you want a left power rail or a right power rail. So I'm going to start with the left power rail because power will flow from this side and it will additionally ask you that how many pins you want. Pins means that how many rungs you want to initiate from this power rail. So uh, for implementing AND gate, I need one rung and for implementing an OR gate, I need one rung more. So in total, I need two rungs. But for OR gate, I am going to use a parallel branch. So therefore, I need an additional branch from the power rail. So for that, in total, I need three branches or three pins. So now power rail has been created. Now the next thing is I want to create a normally open contact that will represent input A and a normally open contact that will represent input B and join those two things in series to implement AND gate. For that, you should click over here that says create a new contact. After selecting this thing, click somewhere in the workspace it will ask you that what kind of contact you want. You can have a normal contact, you can have a negated contact, you can have a rising edge contact, and you can also have a falling edge contact. 
So right now I'm going to use a normal contact, which will be a normally open contact. And the variable that I need to assign it to is input A. After that, click OK, and that's it. So here is my input A. Similarly, I can add input B. So here is my input B. And as the last thing, I need an output coil. So over here, you can see a symbol for a new coil. Click on it, click somewhere over here, and select that what type of coil you want. So there are multiple options over here. Right now, I'm going to use a simple normal coil, and I'm going to assign it output AND. So this is my output coil. I can place it over here, and at the end, I need a right side power rail. So to create that, once again, click this power rail, click somewhere over here, and this time, click on right power rail. And for right power rail, I know that I need two pins, one for the AND rung and the other one for the OR rung. So I'm going to add two pins over here. So this is the right power rail. I can place it over here, and that's it. Now I just need to connect these two things. So for connection, you can bring your mouse over here, and click and drag like this to connect these two elements. Similarly, you can bring your mouse over here, click and drag like this to join input A with input B. And similarly, you can join these two things and these two things as well. So that's it. We have implemented the AND gate. And now for the OR gate, we need some more contacts. So I'm going to create a normal contact and assign it input A and I'm going to place it over here. And similarly, I'm going to create a new contact, assign it input B, and place it over here. Now for the output of the OR gate, I need a coil. I will put it over here, assign it output OR, and it will be placed like this. Now to connect these things, I need to drag this point over here, drag this point over here, drag input to this output and this point to this output as well. So as the last step, you just need to connect this output side with this right side power rail and that's it. So we have created a lateral diagram that will implement an AND gate and an OR gate. And now we want to check whether this program is working fine or not. That is, it is generating the AND output and OR output or not. So for that, what you need to do is you need to click this start PLC simulation button over here, wait a bit, and it will start the simulation. So in the PLC log, you can see that PLC started is written. So now the PLC is running. Now to check that whether this program is working fine or not, you have to click on this debug instance over here. It will open another instance that will show the simulation of this program. You can see that these lines have turned green which means that these lines have power. But as input A is off, the power cannot continue to the other side. To turn this input A on, you can right click on it and click on this force true button. So as soon as you will click on the force true button, you can see that now the power will flow up to this point. And after that point, there is input B, which is still turned off. So that is why power cannot flow to the output of the AND gate. But on the other side, you can see that the output from the input A can go to the output of the OR gate. Because for the OR gate, if even one of the input is true, the output will come, become true. So to turn this input B on, you can right click on it and click on force true over here. It will turn on as well. And you can see that now the output AND has also turned on. Similarly, if you want to turn off some input, you can right click on it and click on force false and it will turn off. So turning off input A, for example, like this, it will turn off the output of the AND gate, but the output of the OR gate will not turn off because still we have input B as true. So that's it. You can simply test the ladder diagram which you have created without the requirement for any PLC or even any address assignment using this open PLC editor. So if you have any questions or if you don't understand anything, I'm always open to questions. You can ask questions through comment section. I would be happy to answer those questions. So that's it. Take care and goodbye.